Hello and welcome to the third tutorial in this uh, Coder Island C Sharp Windows Forms series. Um, I'm Sid Bourne. You can find me at bourneprogramming.webs.com or at coderisland.com where I'm known as Sydney's One. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create and use a tray icon application in Visual C Sharp. So this is what I'm going to be making. Be a little form. Um, that has a tray icon. Um, it has a tooltip and a context menu. So you can see the buttons, prompt actions on the form, uh, as well as double clicking. It uh, runs the bolded option here. And it also has a pop up balloon which will either go away after five seconds, either close it, and it'll show the action, and click on it, it'll show the action, and if you let it run for five seconds, it'll fade away, and run the closed action as well, as you'll see. It's closed, and we can close the form from it. So, Let's get started on how to make this. Open Visual C Sharp Express uh, and start a new project. Windows Forms application. And I'm just going to name it Tray Icon Test App. So let it create that. And we're going to take our form. First thing we're going to do is add a label and a button. With the button, we're going to set the uh, text property to show pop-up. And we're just going to leave the label how it is. And we're going to take the notify icon control and drop it into our form. It goes down here in the uh, tray icon panel. First thing we're going to do is set the icon for it. So in the notify icon uh, properties pane, select the icon property and browse to an icon. I'm just going to use this inverted computer screen icon. And the text uh, is the pop-up uh, mouse over text. I'm just going to set that to my app. Uh, visible is set to true. Balloon tip icon is set to info. The text to this is a pop up. And the title to hello world. So if you run it right now, it isn't going to do much. We have our icon and it has mouse over text, but that's about it. So we need to have this button show the pop-up. How we're going to do that is double click the button and in its button click uh, event we're just going to type notify icon one dot show balloon tip and then the timeout is how long it shows before it disappears uh, in milliseconds so I'm going to specify 5000 milliseconds which is 5 seconds uh, and it'll s display that for five seconds when we press this button. We're also going go to go into the events here and uh, double click balloon tip clicked. And we're just going to go label one dot text equals balloon tip clicked. And I'm just going to copy that because we're going to be reusing this code a lot. Um, and we're going to go balloon tip closed paste that and just turn clicked to closed. So now if we run it, we'll be able to show the pop-up, get the clicked and closed events, and that's about it. Now we're going to add the uh, list, 
we're going to be our right click context menu. How we're going to do that is we're going to take a uh, context menu strip, drop it into our form, and we're going to be adding a few items. We're going to add option 1, option 2, option 3. We're going to click this little down arrow and add a separator and then close. Now, when the icon gets a double clicked, we're going to want to run one of these options. So, to let the user know which option will run when we double click it, I'm going to select the option, in this case option 1, and go into its properties and bold its font. That way, the user will know what happens when you double click the icon. Now, for each of these options, we're going to double click and set the uh, label one text. So, option one clicked. Option two clicked. And option three clicked. And finally, I'm going to take the notify icon, set the context menu strip to context menu strip 1, and in the events, we're going to take mouse double click, double click it, and do um, option 1 tool strip menu item cl underscore click. Uh, it's going to ask for the sender. I'm just going to put this and event args. There are none, so I'm just going to put null. So now, when you double click it, it'll run uh, tool strip menu item one clicked, which is here, and it'll run this. And last of all, the close, we're just going to do this.close. So now if you run it, you'll see that our icon can now be right-clicked. We have option 1, option 2, option 3. Double-clicking it runs option 1, and close. But it will exit the form. And that's how you use a notify icon. Um, there's some more properties, you know, visible, uh, stuff like that. They're not really used that much. Um, the context menu strip can be, you know, anything. Uh, and the pop-up can have, you know, different icons, uh, info warning, error, depending on what you want to show. You can set these at runtime, so it doesn't have to show the same thing every time. Um, and that's about it. You can have more than one of these per application. They're pretty useful. So that's how you use a notify icon in a Visual C Sharp Express project. Thanks for listening.